couples. Couple is a pair of forces. Okay, there are some definition. It must be equal in magnitude and in opposite direction, and also they are not acting along the same line. So you can see in this figure, the two forces are couples that acting on the rod. So could you imagine what is the effect of the couple in this case? Yes, the rod will rotate. And here we have to figure out again some examples that are not couples. The first one, why are they not couples? You can find that they are different in magnitude. How about the second one? These two forces have the same magnitude, but they are not in opposite direction. Then, the third case, they are in opposite direction and in the same magnitude, but they are pointed with each other. So, they are not couples, because they act on the same line. What is the effect of the couples? Once again, you can see this picture. Can you imagine? One will provide a anti-clockwise motion, the other also will make the anti-clockwise moment, so it will cause rotation. So the moment will cause rotation only without translation. This is the characteristic, and one force cannot able to balance a couple. A couple can only be balanced by an other couple. These are some characteristics. What are the daily applications? Actually, when we're turning a tape, it is a couple force. And when we're turning the door handle, it's also a couple force. Do you aware we usually use at least two thinker in order to turn the tape or in order to turn the door handle? So, some moments and thought related to a couple. So, how to calculate the thought of a couple? It's just by using f times d. So, what is the f times d? The magnitude of one force that form the couple. So, in order to find the thought that's formed by the couple, you need not to multiply the force twice. You just need to consider one force is enough. And the d is the perpendicular distance between the two couple. So, you can see in the above case, the top of this couple is just f times d. And the other one says the distance l is not the perpendicular distance. We have to find back the perpendicular distance d in order to find the couple. Okay, so once again, use our sine, cosine stuff. It can help us to find the perpendicular distance between the two forces. And this can help us to find the couple. Now, the top of a couple is independent to the position of the pivot. Okay, that means no matter what is the axis of rotation, no matter whether it is really rotate, then finding the top is still the same because the top of the couple is independent to the position of the pivot. Okay, so no matter how we define the axis of rotation, we'll get the same thing. Now here, we will consider this. Now for example, if we have an axis here, we take the pivot and that position. So the, this force will form a cock rise moment. And the other force will form a anti cock rise moment. So what is the net thought of it? Now here we find it a net thought, okay? Not about equilibrium, okay? So the net thought is the anti cock rise thought minus the cock rise thought because they are in different direction. So we have to minus with each other, and after solving it, you will find that the moment of this couple is f times d in anti clockwise sense. Now, same setting, 
but we just change the position of the axis. Now you can see that this time with this the definition, the left force will form a anti-clockwise moment and the right force also anti-clockwise moment because we change the definition position of the axis. So this time both of them will form the anti-clockwise moment and in this case they should sum together because they are in the same direction. Okay, after substitute the value and solving it, what will we found? Yes, you will find that it's just the same couple, same FD, and the direction is also anti-clockwise.